Hey there, 30 Days of Silent Hill. This is day 9. Scariest scene. Now, if you know me that as a person, that would be an, inter an interesting question beyond which of it just being a scary game series. I'm also a huge horror movie fan, and I write disturbing, evil poetry, and yet filled with dark black, like dark black type of comedy, and you know, I'm all over the place into the horror scene, is what I'm getting at, and for me, for a scene to be scary, it it has to go above and beyond everything else in the game. I wouldn't say the Silent Hill games are scary to me, as so far as they're really, really, really fucking creepy and disturbing, but I'm not really scared, I'm just, I'm just on nerve and kind of kind of hurrying along in the quests while playing them for the first time and while well, you know when I'm not know what I'm doing but thinking about it for me the scariest scene would have to be and and it's interesting that I choose this but it would have to be when you first encounter pyramid head um, and it, it's kind of a two-part answer for me. But when you first encounter him in the apartment. Not so much the scene where he's he's raping the mannequin. Which is, like I said, more disturbing than scary to me. But when I first see him. Uh, like behind the sort of prison looking like type paneling. In the one hallway there, you have your light on, on your, uh, uh, James has his light on on his chest. And you can see him just standing there, almost as if he's staring at your character. N no talking, no motions. Very, <laughs> very Slender Man-esque. But, uh, it, it was, it was, it was spooky to me, because... Knowing what I knew about the game before going into it, I Silent Hill 2 was already an established game before I picked it up. And, you know, you, you obviously know Pyramid Head, but that was just to see him in game for the first time was was pretty was pretty scary to me because I kept thinking to myself, I don't know, is is that gate gonna fall down? Is he gonna be able to chase me? Is he ends up later in the game quite a few situations he's chase just shows up out of nowhere and is chasing you if you played the game you know what locations I'm talking about some are more obvious than others but you know that and basically the whole introduction to pyramid heads main modus operandi would be the most terrifying scene or the scariest not not so much terrifying that gives it too much uh, credence but the scariest, it would be that for me. Uh, the first times we're meeting Pyramid Head and when he is then raping the mannequin. Though a good, you can't go wrong with any Pyramid Head scene though. Like uh, the chase where Maria gets picked off. And basically kill while you're trying to save her in the elevator. That's pretty scary I suppose. Or, pr or pretty action packed anyway. Um... Actually, you know what? <laughs> I didn't even think about this one, but the uh, the scene at the end, right, as you're almost at the very end of the game, where you have to fight two pyramid heads, and you see them, you see, just when they pan up and see two pyramid heads, that's that's pretty scary in and of itself. But I'm sticking with my earlier decision. Uh, scenes where you first meet Pyramid Head and scene where he's raping the mannequin. Scariest scene for me personally, Silent Hill Two. All right. That's day nine. Thanks for listening.